Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in today's lecture, we are going to talk about very interesting topic that is what are pseudo element and how to interact with them in Selenium. Before we move on, I would like to appreciate uh, Kushal uh, Parikh who posted this particular challenge on interacting with pseudo element uh, in Selenium. Okay, so let us understand what is the challenge. So the challenge was, so there is a site wherein what we need to do, we need to copy this particular rating, which is a dynamic and we need to copy it first and we need to paste it here. So when we will paste it correctly, we will get well done. If we are not pasting it correctly, suppose I'm pasting two asterisk instead of one, I'll get try again, right? So now we need to do the same thing using the automation. Now, first of all, let us try to inspect this particular element. So when we'll inspect this particular element, we are unable to find any property, right? With respect to this particular asterisk, I'm unable to locate the property, right? Meaning I don't have the text with respect to this asterisk, which I can use in Selenium to using the get text, right? Now, when I click on this after, as soon as I'm clicking on this after, I'm able to see some additional content. So this additional content is nothing. It is coming just because of pseudo element, right? So before we move on to the discussion, let us try to understand what are pseudo element. Okay. So pseudo element are nothing. These are the keywords that we add to an element to customize specific part of an element, right? Okay. So what does it mean? It means, for example, this particular element, right? It has color green, right? So if I want to change the color of it, if I want to store the property of it. So for example, if you notice anything, display padding, if I want to add, if I want to control the font size for this particular element. So in those cases, we do the concept of pseudo element. Now the question is how we will get these particular elements using Selenium, right? Before that, let us try to understand how to identify these elements so wherever within the element you find double column that is nothing but a uh, this pseudo element right now they are like different type of pseudo elements after before first letter first line so in case we want to make some modification after the after the element then we use after if we want to do before we we use before like this is something uh, done by the front end developers right so we are here to just interact with these elements right now let us come back to the challenge and the challenge is we need to get this particular content right so how we will get it right for that purpose first of all um, because this is something related to front end let us try to achieve it using the console so so how to achieve it using the console we can use document first of all document dot query selector so using query selector we can reach to the selector so in our case what is the selector if i for example go here so the star rating is the class that we are looking for so how to locate a class so using star rating but we need to enclose it into the single quotes as well right now as soon as you will enclose it into single quote you see that we are able to locate the element now the next step is we reach till this endpoint. Now the next step is we need to come here and then we need to get the content. So the next step is to reach till this endpoint, right? To this point I mean after. So how to reach till that point? So for that purpose, what we will do, we will simply use a concept of window. We will use window and I'm just typing in window dot get computed style. So in this case, when we want to uh, get the uh, pseudo element, we will be using get computed style, right? Now, if you will, I have just entered this open bracket. So as soon as I open the open bracket, so this is nothing but a method, right? As like in Java, we have a method here in JavaScript, right? So this is nothing but a JavaScript, right? So what it is expecting, it is expecting element. So ELT is for element. And now it is expecting next element as a pseudo element, right? So we have located the class, the locator, and then the pseudo element. So what is the pseudo element in this case? After, right? Now, 
as soon as we typed in this the thing is we are able to reach here now the next thing is we need to get the property so how to get the property because if we go here we need this particular content so we'll simply go here i'll copy this and i'm again coming back to get property value right now you see as soon as i'll hit enter i'll be able to get this text now the challenge is how we will convert this into uh, uh, selenium because we are using selenium with java so let us try to understand the same right now i have copy pasted that line i am just simply keeping it here right and we will discuss about it later so i have created one maven project wherein what i have done i have added selenium dependency and i have added web driver manager right now i have created one class selenium so what i am going to do first of all i am going to write basic uh, driver instance right new chrome driver now before we execute this particular test case but we, we initialize this particular instance we need chrome driver instance uh, exe as well so for that purpose i'm using web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup in case you are not already aware i'll be sharing the link of same or about the web driver manager and selenium manager right now we got this driver dot get so we need to reach till this particular uh, url so we are going to uh, launch this particular url so we have launched this particular url now the next step is we need to get this particular element so for that purpose what we need to do first of all we need to we have the solution ready right window dot get computed style so when we want to interact with uh, a page using javascript then we have a concept called javascript executor right jsc and javascript executor and what we will be doing i'll be providing driver here so now we have casted our driver into uh, i mean uh, this javascript executor so there we have the method execute script right so here what we are going to do we are going to do return first of all because this would be returning something and i'm going to simply copy this return and i'll be simply copying this right so using this we'll be able to execute it right now once we have provided this element the next thing is because it would be returning uh, in the form of object right so if i for example uh, use execute script so if you if you over here it will return us object but we don't need uh, object we need it in string so string text right so let us try to print this particular so you see that i am unable to get it because it is not in string so for that purpose what i'll be using a uh, two string right so we will first try to print this thing so i'm executing this particular test case and see how it will take place sorry my bad we made one mistake I'll just quickly rewrite it once after the execution is completed. So the mistake that I made is I have enclosed in text, but I need to print the text, right? So uh, one more thing we can do, we can quit the driver as well, so that after execution we are able to quit. So we see we are able to print but the one thing is it is still enclosed into uh, this double quotes as well so how to uh, remove that so that is a simple thing right so we will use text that replace all so i'm simply going to replace double quotes with empty space right so for that purpose i'm using this now the original text will become original text which we want to print that will become this one right now the next thing is we need to get this particular element so how to get this particular element i'll simply come here and we see that the id of this particular element is text trading right so i'll simply go here 
and driver dot find element by dot id right now what we need to do we need to send keys and this is what we will be passing right so we have passed the uh, text now the next thing is we need to click on check rating so for that purpose i again will be locating the element so what is the id in this case so the id is check rating so i'm again coming back and using driver dot find element by dot id and providing check rating and this time i'm going to click right now the next thing is as soon as we will type on this i'll simply use this well done and we can get this particular text so before that let us confirm this using xpub so text and this is span right and text is equal to well done so we are able to locate this element now the next thing is we will be going here driver dot find element by dot x path and what we'll be doing is displayed right and this is we can print this as well right so why i'm going to print so that i can get true because this will return boolean which is true right now what i'm going to do i'm going to execute this particular test case so you see it is able to print this first we print it and it is able to add and then after it is able to verify as well and as a result it is printing true as well so this is how we can interact with pseudo element we discussed about what are pseudo element how to identify pseudo element and how to uh, then uh, deal it using the selenium in and in selenium using the javascript executor because this is nothing but the javascript call so thank you for watching guys and i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again